This is Hayes Q Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, what's up? You know the routine. Come on in. Make yourself at home. Your family. Come on. You know what the you know what the deal is. This week brings me back to Dollar General. I didn't expect to do a Dollar General video for at least another couple weeks, but I was looking on Facebook and I saw one specific one specific post where they had Dollar Generals with 50% off DVDs. So I was like, let me check it out. Went to about five Dollar Generals out of the five, three actually had the 50% off. So you can see what I picked up at Dollar General as well as my 3D pick for the week and my usual classic pick for the week. But before I get into what I picked up at Dollar General, not only do I collect movies, yes, I'm one of these weird, odd individuals. I actually watch them. And on a weekly basis, I like to share some of the things I've watched, either streaming physical media out of my collection or actually live in the theater with my family. And I'm going to kick it off with some physical media. This is the 2016 biography comedy drama Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. This is starring Tina Fey, Margot Robbie, Martin Freeman, Alfred Molina, Christopher Abbott, with Billy Bob Thornton. And Tina Fey's character named Kim Barker. In my opinion, she's kind of having a midlife crisis. She's not necessarily thrilled with her relationship or thrilled with her job. So she decides to take this correspondent or reported position in Kabul, Afghanistan. Forgive me if I mispronounce that. And it goes into the journey of her being someone completely out of her element to this just being a part of her life. Very quirky is is some laugh out loud laugh out loud scenes though, but is is more of a a view of reporters in a war type situation, how they handle it, how they ha how they react or interact with each other and the people native to that land. So actually better than I thought. So not a big Tina Fey fan though, but very decent movie. I like Billy Bob Thornton. I wish he was lit in a little bit more though, but very decent, solid movie. If you like war type movies with a little comedy, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, and it took me a, a while to figure out Whiskey Tango Foxtrot WTF. Yeah. My next picture is a 2015 Norwegian disaster film. This is The Wave. This stars, well, this is directed by Ra Utag. I'm probably murdering this guy's name. Starring Christopher Joner and Dal Torp. Jonas Hoff Off the Bro Edith Hagenrud Sand Fidjoff Sahim Thomas Bo Larson. I'm sure I just killed these people's names. This is a actually based on a real life event. Um, essentially you had these people living in these kind of mountain areas which experienced a tsunami which created an avalanche so it's it's a, a norwegian film but it's dubbed in english so very decent action even tone storyline so it's not too slow not too fast so but great action action scene so so if you like disaster movies you'll definitely like the wave and to follow up with the wave i had to watch the sequel the Quake. The Quake is a 2018 Norwegian disaster film, also starring Christopher Jonair, Andal Torp, Jonas Hoff Offenborg, Edith Hagen Hagenrud Sand, and Catherine Doborg Johansson. And this takes place same family, but I think it's like three, four, five years later. Don't want to give too much of the plot away, but they're living in a different city, and the same kind of precursor signs to a disaster 
kind of alerts the main character and he's trying to tell everyone everybody thinks he's kind of crazy he's think, think he's shell shocked from the last incident though but very decent disaster movie don't be afraid that it's norwegian pretty decent dub so if you like disaster movies you definitely like the quake and the wave my last picture is a 2024 spy action comedy this was directed and produced by matthew vaughn uh, written by Jason Fuchs. I guess it's Fuchs. F-U-C-H. Fuchs. Fucked. I'm going to say Fuchs. Uh, starring Bryce Dallas Howard, Sam Rockwell, Brian Cranston, Catherine O'Hara, Henry Cavill, Sophia Butella, Dua Lipa, Ariana DeBose, John Cena, and say it with me now, John, to me, Samuel L. Motherfucking Jackson. You have to say it with it. Samuel L. Motherfucking Jackson. Um, first of all, just to address the elephant in the room, for me, Bryce Dallas Howard. What the hell is her new diet? Is she eating like greens, cornbread, and sweet potato pie, and, and red pop or red soda? She got thick all of a sudden, though. But I know she's kind of getting a little thick in the last Jurassic Park movie, though. But <clears throat> anywho, uh, back to the movie, though. Very, very creative action spy comedy movie. Kind of has the same or similar feel to Bullet Train with uh, Brad Pitt. Um, it's a more of a twist to it. Uh, I love the choreographed kill scene with the clouded colors. You have to see it to understand. Love the cat in there. We're a cat family, so I love the cat. Um, just a very cute overall picture. It's kind of long, 202 uh, hours and 19 minutes. So it's a little bit longer than I anticipated, but it moves very quickly. Um, only person that looked the same from the other movies is Sam Rockwell, Sam Rockwell and my and uh, John Cena. Barely recognized uh, Henry Cavill with that Hawkman hairdo and Bryce, of course, with the, with the thickness though, but very cool, very fun film. Again, I think you look like that bullet train kind of action spy comedy. You'll definitely like Argyle. Now, <clears throat> without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink and a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of the video. And by the way, check out my up and coming video, uh, my collecting video this coming Saturday.
All right, let's see if I can ball on the budget. I got my five dollars off twenty-five. Let's see if they have fifty percent off movies at Dollar Tree. I went to two last night. One at We're back at the Black Cave. Back at the Black Cave. We are back at the motherfucking Black Cave. Have my Dollar General pickups here. Have my 3D pick as well as my classic pick for the week. Let me get these scanned in and we'll jump right into it. Hold on. I'm just going to jump right into it. Unfortunately, I did not get to use my coupons for today. Uh, I did this over Friday and Saturday, Friday night and Saturday. So I got these Friday night. Went out Saturday hoping I could find something. I did find something, but nothing over $25 uh, what I found today Saturday was Billy Elliot I've seen this for a while didn't want it for five bucks for 250 definitely worth the buy I was looking for Jersey Boys uh, and forgive me I forgot who asked who suggested I get Jersey Boys could not find Jersey Boys 
So Billy Elliot. For some reason I thought Jody Foster's in here, but I don't think so. But Billy Elliot, I think I have the, the DVD and have the Blu-ray universal release. That's what I picked up today. Let's go to what I picked up last night, which was a little bit better. Let's see here. Start out with show dogs, and of course, I have my Wesley Snipes here, my AK Johnny Blade. This has. I know him from, oh, I can't think of the show. Give me a second. Arrested Development, that's where I know him from. Who else here, Stanley Tucci, I know. Uh, Fluffy, Gabriella Glacia. Oh, we got Shaq D in here, Shaq Diesel. So, I believe that's Will Arnett, not positive though. This is a universal release. For some odd reason, Sony releases were not on sale, weren't 50% off at Dollar General, even though I didn't see a whole crap load of Sony pictures, but most of the stuff either already had or didn't want. So, Show Dogs, I know I've seen this at Big Lots for a while, so 50% off, couldn't resist it. Next one, MacArthur, I've seen this for a while. This is kind of, for me, on the same level as Patton, which I haven't seen yet with George C. Scott, so kind of have to be in that historical war-like storytelling mood to watch this so, but it looks interesting this is one of the old school G's Gregory Peck it's a universal release he both yeah universal releases next we have Saving Flora with Jenna Ortega. I believe that's her girl from the Adam family. You have um, Roseanne's ex is Tom Arnold. You have Rhea Perlman. Danny's ex, uh, ex. And it's about saving an elephant. So it looked interesting. I like movies about animals. This is a... What is this? Who releases this? Drawn Factory? Never heard of them. So, independent label, I'm assuming. Saving Flora. Next, we have J Ho, excuse me, J Lo, uh, and Ralph. Is that Dennis Fines? Romantic comedy, Mill Creek. Made in Manhattan. I don't have the DVD on a Mill Creek, I think, four set. Uh, I think Sparkle's on there with Mariah Carey. So, but got to get, glad to get the Blu ray. Made in Manhattan. And the last one from Dollar General. <clears throat> no, I was going to pay $10 for this. So, but five bucks. Yeah, it's Disney. Plus, Disney's going through some changes with their business venture with Sony and their I think their Disney home collection uh, I think they're stopped doing that so not really sure how Disney movies are going to be put out as far as physical media going forward so better safe than sorry if I can get this at a decent price so definitely worth picking up decent movie too uh, Reese Witherspoon Mindy Kalen, Zach Galifianakis, and Chris Pine. So this is what I picked up at my 50% Dollar General pickup. Next, I have my 3D pick for the week. I actually got the DVD version at Dollar Tree for a buck. So I saw this with a 3D. And if you don't know who Peter Gabriel is, he's kind of big from the 80s. Uh, 70s and 80s, he was actually the original singer for Genesis prior to Phil Collins. And I, I love Phil Collins, though, but 
I think Phil Collins is a better leader of Genesis and Peter Gabriel. If you're a Genesis fan, you probably prefer Peter Gabriel since he was the original. But this is 3D concert. And I think his biggest song, solo song, was like Sledgehammer back in the day. So the 3D Blu-ray and the DVD. And this is a Eagle Vision release. And my last pick, my classic pick for the week, this is old, old, old school. The late, the great, the beautiful Cicely Tyson, ex-wife of uh, the legendary Miles Davis, Paul Winfield, phenomenal actor. I, I know him, I remember him, I associate him with the movie Sounder. That's, I think, one of the first movies I saw him in. Kevin Hooks I had a really great career as a kid. Um, in my opinion, when he did Revenge of the Nerds, I think that really kind of sidelined his career. I didn't see a lot of a lot of him after that, though. But this is a great kind of coming to age story in the inner city or the lower income areas of old school DVD. This is a Sterling release, so this is my classic pick, one of my three picks and my Dollar General picks. Give me a minute, let me get these scanned in, separate the plastic from the artwork. One of these might actually make the shelf, shelves and get you good people on your way. Hold on. Everything scanned into my CLZ Movies app. C is in Cool Runnings. L as in Land of the Lost. Z is in Zero Dark Thirty. Let's knock this out. everything scanned in ready to be put back in its proper place as usual i appreciate each and every one of you tuning in you made this far in the video smash a like ring the bell give me that big thumbs up other than that may the best of your past be the worst of your future everyone be safe deuces